Previously on Redwood, Weston visits the Dakota residence to ensure Nate's sobriety. Nate irritated by Weston's presence, he tells him to leave because Weston has been completely fake towards Nate ever since the incident. Constance, Nate's mother, explains that Weston's just here because he really cares about Nate and that he just wants the best for him. Nate irritated, he leaves, and later that morning, he visits a junkyard where his ex-dealer works. Looking for the dealer, Nate wanders around, finding himself in trouble with the property owners. They assume he's looking to buy drugs, but Nate explains he's looking to buy a vehicle. They begin to question the need for a vehicle at a junkyard, and Nate tells them that he's looking for something discreet. They show him the ambulance on the lot and explain to him that they can only rent it to him for two days as they need it for business also. Nate agrees to the deal even though he feels like he's been cheated and he overpaid. Uncomfortable with Nate being there, one of the workers call Aiden in for a hunt. He explains to Aiden how a man like Nate would never be on this side of town looking to rent an ambulance. Things felt a little off. Later that day, Nate meets up with Tucker behind a gas station in Strangerville. Completely distraught by seeing Nate in the ambulance, Tucker begins to freak out, questioning the entire plan. Nate ensures him that this is going to work and he can definitely help him get through the date. Tucker, agitated by Nate, he agrees to go along with the plan as they were already running late. They arrive at the theater and Nate goes over the game plan with Tucker. Tucker begins to feel anxious, so he decides to just go inside and meet Liz. They begin to talk about work and traveling, which started to raise some concerns for Nate, who was buzzing about on the other end. The day continued and Liz and Tucker really connected. Conversations flowed between them, and unfortunately, Nate couldn't keep up, so he passed out from boredom. With the day going so well, Liz boldly kisses Tucker, leaving him completely shook and very, very happy. After the movie, Tucker and Liz decide to visit the bowling alley across the street. They do a little bowling and they visit the arcade to play some video games. With the date coming to an end, Tucker and Liz share a moment together that ends with a beautiful kiss. Aiden shows up to the movie theater on work business. He scopes out the area finding the ambulance and find Nate inside sleeping. Nate lies to Aiden about why he's using the ambulance as it wasn't any of his business. Aiden getting frustrated with Nate, he punches him just to find himself on the ground. Back at Aiden's house, Janelle welcomes him back and they have a talk about them exclusively hooking up with no relationship. Janelle eventually agrees as she really does like Aiden and it leaves Aiden very very happy. Later that day Wesley stops by for a quick second to discuss what happened with Nate. Aiden demands to know everything about this Nathaniel Pierre Dakota. We are in Strange Bro, and guess where Dean is? At the credit union. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Dean. Okay. I have to scoot back. Janelle has not been home in three days. Um, Dean's just kind of like, okay. Um, so he wants to kind of surprise her with, you know, this gift of going to college, you know? Uh, so he's here about to get this loan remember that we're supposed to get the one hundred thousand dollar loan because redwood is redwood's not doing good you guys it's kind of getting a little empty so i this is why we're getting the bigger one um just so we can uh oh, there he is so we can replenish the store Okay. Oh god, I feel so nervous. I feel like I haven't played Redwood in so long. Look at Dean down there. He looks so cute. Alright. Hey, hey, Jacob. So, so. Dean, so, hey. So. What's up? You 
Did you, did you think over There's the offer? Is that why you're here? Uh, Adrian. yeah. yeah. Why is he staring at that girl like that? Dean, stop. Roshi boy. He's like, whoa. Oh. Um. He's like, all right. What's her name? Sarah. All right, Sarah. Oh my God, Dean does like her. Dean. Wow, what a sim. Dean, stop. Okay, and Dean's like, oof. <laughs> He's trying not to look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dean, stop being a man. You're better than this. <laughs> you are better than this. All right. Um, Dean, you got to go in the back with um with Jacob. I wanted to name him Jakob. I think Jakob is kind of hot. Look at Dean. Oh, my Lord. Please just... Ugh. Just sit on me. <laughs> All right, let's lock these doors. All right, so Dean, it, it took you uh, a while to get back to me. What's um here? I want to have like a deep conversation. Yeah, uh, it's uh, you 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 were almost oh, there. Thought you were gonna change your mind. No, um, I think I I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the the loan. All right. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're teasing me, you're not I know. All right. Um, you mentioned that you wanted the uh, hundred thousand dollar loan. Okay. Dude. You sure you can pay that back? new play. It's it's completely fine. Um, I I I'm just hoping that the interest could be the same as the previous offer. He's like you're joking. I, I feel like um I'll be able to get things back and rolling. You know, once everything settles with the money and stuff. You said this was for your uh, your your daughter for college, right? Nope. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. All right. Oh. Yeah. I'm just saying, Dean. I'm not kidding when it comes. Oh my God, he's snobby. Of course he is. Oh Lord, have mercy. Um, yes, it's just it's to get Janelle through college. Um. Might as well just try to get her, um, you know, through her, you know, what is it called? Freshman, yeah, her freshman year at least. And we'll figure out something later. All right, Dean. Let's get in here and see. <laughs> Dean, why are you so flirty? Stop. So, um, is this going to be cash? Yes, this is going to be a cash offer. Do we still have the money here? We do. Um, here, he needs to add that money too. All right, so we're thinking, we're thinking, we're thinking. I'm thinking, he's thinking, we're all thinking. Um, Dean wants $100,000 to, to, for his daughter to finish her freshman year of university. So freshman year, that's, that's give or take a year or so. So he's got a year and like three, three months until she, until her freshman year is over. How about that? We can get her through school. And then after the freshman year, you need to start making these payments. But I, I feel like he needs to pay. Yeah. 5k a week. That's a lot. The bills are $18,000. Yeah. All right, Dean. We're looking at about, mm, I'm going to make it easy for him. We're looking at about 5,000, 4,500, 4,000, 4,000 a week. But I need this paid off by the time your daughter mm, is done with freshman year uni. Is that okay, Dean? Ah. Dean is fucking stressed. He said, damn. Oh my God, money fairy. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Oops. Oh, hold on. Mm. All right. Thank you. All right. So four thousand a week, um, and he has to pay it all off after. Well, you know, before Janelle is done with her freshman year of school. Is that okay with you, Dean? He's like, all right, Jacob. I'm great. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and put that in then. 
um i need you to grant me access just so i have you know some kind of leverage <laughs> against you not in a bad way i would never do that to you Neen, because you're my friend but i need to i need you to get me in on redwood just to see if you can actually pay me back All right, so does everything sound good? Yeah, that, that sounds very doable. Um, just for, you know, to just kind of, what's the word? It's just on my mind, but what, yeah, go ahead. What is your repossession? You know, what do you do? Ah, Dean. God, he looks fucking crazy. He look crazy like his fucking kid. Dean, that's just something you're gonna have to find out if you don't pay me back. Oh, I, it was just a question, Jacob. Yeah, of course, of course. On TV. All right, bring it in. Um, this was great. I'm gonna give you go ahead and give you this money. Dancing is guessing what a man is going to do before he does it. How fascinating. Uh oh, Dean, he talking about dancing. Look at Dean. All right, Dean, this handshake seals our deal, our $100,000 loan. All right. Thank you, Jacob. All right, let me go ahead and give you that money. Look at Dean down here. He geeking. Here, let's just keep talking about him. Keep talking to him. Um, so, well, what college is your daughter going to go to? Pando Crest. No. Uh, she's gonna go to Oasis. Oh, Oasis, like, Brightchester Oasis? Yeah, yeah, she she just came back from a tour there. Oh, a really expensive school. Mm. Yeah, she uh, seems really taken by it. I, I, I think she really wants to go. And I really want to get her through, you know, at least try, you know? That's all we can do is put our foot in the door for our kids. And then see what they do later on. I think, I, you know, I think she's a bright kid. Remotely even wanting to go to school, you know? My little shithead's around here somewhere. Oh, look at her. She's like, what a beautiful day. Uh, you know, I have not had to stress. I'm fucking dumbass Paris. Just kind of like dealing with, um, oops, dealing with Tucker. Just, you know, just being to myself. Here, we're going to have a moment of clarity. Yeah. Look at her. She's like, I am happy. Oh, she never thought the Reds would be like her happy place. And now it literally is. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to have her wide sit. I'm going to kind of have her look at her phone. Oh, why is Tucker's brother here? He's like, um, can I get a reading, please? Gr here, come talk to Tucker's little brother. What the hell, Tatum? Why are you here? Oh my God, invite him in. Aiden, can you come sit next to us? Oh, did I lock this door? I did. Aw, oh, poor Tatum. Hey. You, uh, you ready to go home? Look how cute... Never mind. <laughs> he looks like, you know, he looks a little crazy. He's like, are you ready to go home? Little shit. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. I kind of like it here. Uh, yes. I mean, you don't have to go. Yeah, I know, but I've been getting text messages like crazy from my dad. Um, and I'm not going to have him, you know, put out a missing person. Then you say you were at your uncle's. Yeah, he doesn't like my uncle. Oh, that sucks. 
Trolls I mean, Whips a dog. I really enjoyed this time here with you. Um, let's romance. Oh, not kissing Ryan. Let's do a little bit of flirting. Chop away. <laughs> like it was. It's been really nice having you here. Oh, Aiden. <laughs> it's been nice chilling with you too. You know, I never what? really just like kind of like just relaxed in this whole that whole weekend or week, huh? whatever. Hey, just stressed me out. Yeah, glad I could help you. But um, yeah, I mean, we can do this again whenever you want, anytime. I'm down. Oh, right. oh, he wants to ask her on a date. What are you about to do? Oh no! Scripto Narch. What are you doing? Soy de shimmy baye dabo shazel. Moy beam. Vanilla. Swo briff. Soy. What is he saying to us? So we're hypnotized. Oh my God. Oh, Aiden, I don't know what you're saying, but shimmy baye. Yeah, I will sleep with you. Yes, right now. I, I would, it's not what I said. I didn't hear anything you said. I was just looking at your lips. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's go hang out. Oh my gosh, he's about to kiss her. All right. Well, um. Yeah, let's go do a little quickie and we gotta go. <laughs> He's so sweet. Holy moly. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I don't know if Janelle like is starting to like him though. How does she feel about him? What is this? Oh. <sighs> he needs a better job. Oh my god, amazing. They're amazing. That okay, soulmates. <laughs> Much longer till I get an attic room, you know? <laughs> but yeah, Aiden, he's so sweet. Janelle oh, likes him very much. They are so compatible. I actually want one of Aiden's friends to come by. Um, I actually want this guy, Wesley, to come by. Um, what does he want to do with Janelle? Oh, he's still on the cloud gaze with her. I meant to do that. Can we say that we did that? Because that's literally what we were out there doing. Um, look at him. Oh my god. He's like, you know, I kind of don't want you to go. I mean, I can come back. I just want to see what my dad's, you know, what he wants. Or I can come over there. I mean, you can. Alright, when well, you call me, you let me know. You can watch a movie. Oh my god. Okay, um, I'm gonna go use the bathroom inside the house. Yeah, yeah, inside the house. All right. All right, um, oh, Janelle, oh my God. She's just like running to the house real quick in her panties. Oh my God, Janelle, hurry up and get in here. Oh shit, she's like, there's people in here. Here, use the bathroom. She's like, wow, okay. There's people in here and I'm in my panty. Okay. She's, uh, you know, taking her after sex piss. So you know what that means. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> He's like, you believe in voodoo and shit? She's like, see you again, Tatum. Glad I could help. She said, this evil in you, boy. 
He said, how you know? Look how she looking at him. She just judging him. He's like, Grandma, stop. Oh my God, Janelle. Um, uh, sorry, I did not Good know day. there was people here. Oh my God. Janelle, oh, get over there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> she said, child. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all, this can't get on my nerves. Um, <laughs> here, actually, because I know she's going to try to go in here. Janelle, can you go in here with this lady, please, so we can talk? Oh, my goodness. Janelle, yes, um... Uh, ask about a Did you forget your clothes? No, um, I was running No, I was running in the house to just use the bathroom Um, I am so sorry um, I'm gonna just go back and put my clothes on That's a good idea Yeah, I am so sorry She said, you've been here a week now you leaving? Yeah, I'm gonna go home. Melba? Oh. You can tell your father I said yeah. hi. Uh, uh okay. Uh, Dean Redwood? Chuta. Yes, yes, that's my dad. Chuta. Oh, the Redwoods. Oh, Naya. You, you know about my family? She oh, said, we all know. Okay. Your family is in these books, girl. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. But it was nice to see you, Janelle. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Um. Ah, quite so nice. So we're gonna talk about the chick in the panties. You know. I know it is too. It is too in the afternoon. I'm wasting my times here. Um, we're gonna talk about the chick in the panty. Nope. So was I the only one that saw the chick in the panties? All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go. Um, I want Liz to get here. Cam, I missed it. We. Oh my god, we're in like a time here. I forgot I gave Liz different hair. Where is she? All right. She's like Janelle. Janelle. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with her? I'm sad now. She's like I'm sad. What are you sad for? Um. Oh, she's just... Okay, the game is just being lame. Janelle? Hey! Hey, what's wrong with you? It's just a long, hot drive. That's all. Okay. But I feel better now. You ready to go? Yeah, um... I'm waiting for um Aiden to come back in. I fucking... Ran in the freaking room with my fucking panties on. His grandma saw me. Oh my god. I know. It's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Alright, well, we can wait for him. Where is he? Oh, he's still talking to dude. Oh, come on. Alright, we gotta go. Oop. Janelle. Here, you and her, y'all can sit here. Oops. Aiden, you can come out here, babe. Um, go here, and we can kind of sit here. Until, um, he comes out here. Damn. All right, um. Mm. Venorba KBC boat. Uh, Yafis bar. Blows it. Uh, nah, did you get lost yeah. again? Uh, I think I did. Moping broody. Broody vibadeso. Oh, hey, Aiden. Look how he looks at Janelle. Oh my god. I'm scared. Like literally scared. <laughs> He's got a plan for her. Or with her. I don't know. Oh, let me say hi to him. Alright. Um. 
Mm, here, I can just give them a hug. I think they're on like a hug kind of basis. Let me just do a greeting. And let's just give him a hug lovingly. She's like, I think I get, I, I think I get lost um, on the roundabout. The roundabout, really? Well, the roundabouts are kind of confusing. Hey, Aiden, how are you getting lost on the roundabout? I go too many times. Oh, he's like, it's the first, it's the first left, you know? She's like, I'll, I'll remember that next time I come out here. Um, here. Yeah, hey, hey, I'm so sorry to hear about you and uh moans um, yeah, yeah it's not it's not a problem i don't care oh yeah it's, it's just still it still kind of fucking sucks no, I mean, he wants to go live his little city dreams and be with those little city ass girls yeah those don't see they thought i was dusty so yeah i don't care i mean if you don't care i mean then i will leave you alone about it watch she's gonna be crawling back after you catch a freaking STD. Okay, Janelle. I'm just saying. Yeah, um. All right, so we're going to go. Um, Here, give her a... Mm, let's see. Let's give her an intense kiss. No. I don't know. A cuddle from behind. Liz is like right there. I don't know if he would do all that. But then again, I feel like he would. All right. Um. Well. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. It's just that. She's like. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You guys are. Wow. Janelle. Okay. I'll go wait for you. Uh, give me a second, Liz. Oh my god, why did you do that in front of her? Here, hit him. Oh my gosh. He's like, why? You don't want you don't want your friends to see us kiss. I mean, I, we're not like anything serious. All right. I mean, if you don't, like you say, if you don't want the PDA, I won't do the PDA. I don't, I don't care anymore. You don't care? What do you mean you don't care? It is what it is, you know? So. So was that a yes to, um, where is it? I'm having a hard time finding anything right now. I'm looking for, oh my God. Are you guys like together? Aww. No, we're not together. You guys are totally together. No, we're actually not, Liz. She will not admit that we technically are, but we are not. Um, let me see. She's like, so wait, I. No, we're not together. Yeah, we're just friends that are <laughs> casually <laughs> fucking. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not judging. I mean, if you guys want to do what you guys want to do, then do it. The world is, you know, what it is. Okay, Liz. All right, I'll see you. I'll see you later. Okay, are you ready to go? Cause we gotta go back to the house. I gotta, I gotta do my grandma's hair for her date. All right, yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Barb is like super excited. She has a fucking date tonight, you guys. Let me get Liz. I don't know if Liz's chair. Look at her boob and her arm. I'm weak. You know, I've been in a situation like this. <laughs> okay, here it goes right here. Oh. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, Barb, I want you to want. Do you have like? Yes, you do actually. This, since the girls are coming over. Actually, no, no, yeah, because that's our seduction now outfit. <laughs> um, <clears throat> where is it? Oh, when I need it, 
I wanted to purchase her a mask, but I can never find it. I never can when I need it. Here it is, randomly. Let's get her the mm, hydrating. All right. All right, we're going to offer, apply the fit. Why do you have all this poop in here? Okay. Oh my God, look at Barb. She is ready. Barb's like, mm -hmm. I don't know where this day going to go tonight, but... My face gonna be looking really nice. All right. Oh, what is Chanel doing? All right, Grandma. All right. Hi, Miss Barb. Is 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 that Chanel? Grandma. Hey, what is you doing? Is that Chanel? You about oh, scared me. I didn't about scared nothing. Janelle, how you doing, sweetheart? Hi, Miss Barb. She's like, you done helped yourself to my special drink? Barb, what the hell are you doing? Barb is just everywhere. Alright, Grandma, can you sit down? I need to, um, figure out what we're gonna do to your hair. Um... Mm. I want to offer hair. I just want to do one little hairstyle and then we can put her in her little outfit. Um, I'm gonna have Andy come on by. Mm. And I'm gonna have Dean. Are we gonna get started or what? Because, like. I think he... Are we going to do something? I'll let you do one hairstyle, and then I'm going to do it myself. Okay? All right. Oh, look at Janelle. Oh, she said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Never mind. Never mind. See? Should I got to take this off my face. Shit, I don't know how to take it off. Here, come in here. Andy, what are you doing? Oh, Andy ain't even here yet. He's like, fuck. He's like, ding. Oh, he's like, oh, fucking kill me. Ding. Is that true? Um. <laughs> hey, hey, Andy. Here, this is not. Look at his legs. I'm weak. He's like, hey, hey. He's like, what you doing here? At my, at my lady's house. Oh, my daughter. Uh, this is her friend's house. Oh. All right, let me get Barb to get this off her face. Oh my God, I don't know how to get these things off. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, there it is. All right, Barb. Barb's about to step out, okay? I don't know if she has a dresser in here, but, oh my God. We're gonna say Liz did, you know, a trap. Shit. All right, Barb, you look good. You can't um check yourself out. No, oh, you can't because that's in the Sharg. way. All right, what's this? Have a check. Um, let me see if we can. Oops. Affection. Oh, I can't like hype her up or anything. Compliment. Compliment her outfit. And then I want you to okay. So y'all like it? Wow. Miss Barb, you don't look like a grandma. Okay. Okay, grandma, you don't you think that's a little revealing? I think it's perfect. I think it's really perfect. But it's just showing a lot. Like grandma, she's she's, she's in her sixties. Don't tell my age. I think you look really beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Rick. Just a, like, like maybe like a cami or something. Child, no. Schwabi from Vanage. 
Yeah. You look amazing. Thank you, baby. I think he gonna like it. Mm. He's like, oh, I'm taking the, taking Bob out. Oh, that sounds amazing. I actually have a date tonight as well. That's why Janelle, here, let me get him, needs to hurry up. Um, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Oh, God. Come on, Dean. Janelle. Janelle. Mm. He said, baby, what you in here playing? Oh, my God. This is sexy music right here. Oh, God. <laughs> Andy, turn around. Your woman is behind you. He said, God damn, Bobby. My God. Uh, Barbara. Oh, wow. He said, damn, baby. You looking so damn fine. Oh, you looking good too, and Al. Hi, Dad. Oh, Janelle, can you hurry? Oh, hey, hello, Dee. How you doing, Barb? He said, God damn. You sure you want to go out to eat? We can eat in here, you know? She said, no, I am hungry, Andy. We got to go. Oh, my God. All right, uh, Janelle, we got to go. I I promise upon you that I'll take her out tonight. Well, and let's come over. Liz, you want to come over? All right, um, yeah, I have a date. I, I was supposed to go pick up uh, uh my, my date here around 8. Oh, well, well, we got a date too. Where y'all going? Oh, well, we're going to go to the, um, the Outback. The Outback? Oh, y'all going to the Outback? Yeah, uh, they have great steaks. Well, that's where we were going to go to the Outback. Yeah, I want some steak and some shrimp, some mashed potatoes. I mean, I, I, we all should go together. You know, couples night. Uh, no. I'm okay. I will pass. Oh, Dean, you don't want to hang out with us? You don't want to hang out with us? That's fine. Now, I think we should double date. Oh, yes. That is completely not necessary, Barbara. Um... Barbara, that's that's no, that's not needed. No, um, I, I, and he, he afraid that, uh, for us to meet his little lady friend. Mm. No, 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 it's fine. It's just it's a date. I kind of wanted some alone time with her. Oh, I mean, okay, you could just go ahead and hurt. No, he's not high maintenance. You go ahead and hurt our feelings. He don't want to hang out with us. It's okay, you know. I guess we just old folks. Nobody wants to be around old folks. No. No, it's okay. You know, we don't need no couple friends. We got us, you and me, baby. Uh, give me a second. Hey, Pawnee. She said, hey, where are you? Um, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, are, do you mind a double date tonight? A double date? Yeah, with Barbara. Oh. Barbara Conklin. And who else? Um, Andy Al. Andy Al. Who is Andy Al? He owns a car shop in Evergreen. Uh... Yeah. Shabini, I promise. I promise, Apani, I will Jeff, make this up to you. I just, I kind of feel bad for saying no. I don't think they hang out with people often. I know it's completely fine. It's completely fine. I'll meet you guys at the restaurant, right? You going to you going to Outback? Yeah, help back. I will just. I'll ride with them. I'm just gonna put on a nice shirt. Okay. Um, I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll I'll see you there. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's like, no, you don't have to apologize. No, I would. I would make this up to you. I will see you out, Albert. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Oh. Mm. Um. Dean, are you ready? Cause I am hungry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we we go ahead and she's gonna meet us there. So. All right. All right. All right. So they're, the girls are gonna go to the house. Actually, I think I kind of want them to meet at. Dean's house just so he can change his shirt yeah so let's just go there actually yeah I just need to change my shirt well, yeah just tell her to meet us at your house yeah I can do that all right so we're at Dean's house and he's got to go um just change his clothes right quick um I think he wears yet yeah, this and um I'm just gonna kind of have him freshen up a little bit. All right, Dean, we we don't wait out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, "Baby, you want a uh, you want a little blunt?" Uh. Oh my gosh! You say you got you you got the doobie on you? He said, "We still call it doobie." Uh, you still you still on this? He said, "I never stop, baby." Let me get one for you too. Okay. Look, he's trying to put it in her booby. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. <laughs> Hi, Spider Babe. Welcome in. Just being me, hot like a hundred degrees. Girl, you know what I need. Need to get on your knees. Hey, <laughs> I'm about to go all goddamn. Look at him, he's ready. Okay, let me bring a pony. Um, and I'm going to, let me see, she, I'm gonna summon her. That is Papa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's ready. Oh my God, he really likes a pony. Look at him, he's got $100,000 in his pocket right now. <laughs> Which he actually needs to go put away. But you know, he's going to pay for this date tonight. Oh. All right. Apani, is she here? Oh, she is here. Let me change her into her outfit. Look at... Uh, Tucker already talking to her. All right. Did I do anything for her? Oh, my God. I hope she has something cute. Oh, let me see. Avula Shaka Teeds. Oh, Aww, she's so sweet. Okay, that's cute. I think that's that's her. Um. No beam. Ah. All right. Maybe. Took her that get away from a pony. She's like, he's not bothering me. <laughs> I was I was telling her how pretty she looked. Let's you guys have a treat. date tonight? Yes. So why is Barbara and Andy out? So out? Hey, you look beautiful. Oh, Thank you. Um. Treat. Oh my God! Look at him. Um. <gasps> what? Uh -huh. Oh my. <laughs> hey! <laughs> okay, Uncle D. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, our reservation's starting now, actually. We gotta go. Alright. Oh my gosh. He's like, wow. Tucker, shut up. I mean, hey. I'm surprised you have a date. He's like... She's like, mm, Tucker. All right, let's go. Let me add them to a group. He said, how you doing, Dr. Oh, Pony? Oh, hi. Hi, Andy. How are you? How's the bandit? We are doing fine. Thank you very much. Look at her. She's like, oh, my God. All right. Dean, get your butt back over here. All right, here we're going to. All right, are we, are we leaving or what? Oh, Kachichi. 
She's like, hello, oh, hello. Oh. Alright, y'all ready to go eat? Oh. Alright. <laughs> Dean say, yeah. <laughs> We're at the Outback Steakhouse. Let me um make sure everybody here is wearing formal wear. All right. Oh, Andy took his hat off. All right. So let's go ahead and get in here. All right. I think I want... Oh, my God. I don't want to sit outside if it's nasty, but the outside looks really nice. Oh, yeah. And I put Andy's car down, you guys. All right, I do. I, I think I want to sit out here. There's a bar out here, a little dancing area. Let's just get this table. I remember having. Um, all right, come on, y'all. Oh, Look at that. They got all you can eat catfish. I know that's right. Hey, how you doing? He's like, hello, sir. Welcome to the Outback Steakhouse. Hey, how you doing? We got a reservation under what's his last name? Al. All right, there you are. Enjoy your dinner. Barbara, why are you so standoffish? Barbara, nobody wants your man, girl. Calm down. He's like, please enjoy your dinner. Um, don't you think you want to hear? I'll have her sit here. He's like, oh, no, sorry. Yeah, you can get this seat. Yeah. All right. All right. So y'all see what y'all want? Go ahead. Here, we're going to order for the table. You no, know, I think we should start out with some drinks first. You know? Actually, no, everybody can get a drink with their meal. Let's just do that instead. All right. Look how awkward they are. Like, look how awkward they are. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yes. hi, can I get uh, the steak and... <laughs> oh, wow. Andy said, y'all, y'all ain't moving enough for me. <laughs> he said, that's, that's what I'm talking about right here. Okay, um... All right, Barbara, sit down. Here, talk to... Um, so let's get them talking. Let me have her kind of just like get to know her a little bit. Um, because Barb doesn't really, you know, Barb doesn't like animals, you guys. Like, she's not an animal person. Um, and Apani is a whole ass veterinarian. And I don't know, like, Barb seems on edge right now. He's like, who would ever think that we'd all be sitting at the same table together? You know? He's like, damn. So, um, Apani. How are you? I'm well. You out there saving all them animal lives? Um, yeah, that's 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 pretty much my job. Um, we've been having um, a handful of uh, litter, uh, well, a handful of wolves and coyotes lately. So that's been fun. He's like, wow, look at that, coyotes. Uh uh, Pony, sit your butt down. Oh, she's about to go dance. No, we're not doing that right now. He said, man, I, I don't fuck with them wolves and them coyotes. And unfortunately, I hate to say it. But I shoot that sucker right on sight. She's like, you'll shoot a wolf. If it's messing with my property, hell yeah, I shoot it. I shoot it dead. You know, that's, you know... You know what they call that, right? That's hunting a pony. Um, Andy. I wanted to talk to you about, um, um, y your job offer. Oh, 
Oh my God. Yeah, um, I was actually interested. I was thinking about, you know, uh, getting into a little bit more, and I feel like fixing the cars would be would be something. What's going on? Is that all right? We can talk about that. Where is it at? Oh. Oh wow. I mean, like if you need if you need a mechanic, I can definitely be your guy. He's like, oh yeah, we can talk about that. Just like I dedicate my life into saving animals, nurturing them, all types of animals, no matter who they are, what they are, what they do. Boom. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about animals no more. I'm trying to enjoy my meal. Oh my god. He's like a pony. How do you like the wine? She's like, it's okay. That got me a dark and storm trying to get a little buzz going. New. Oh, let me save it. Oh my god, this is awkward. This is not how I expected this thing to go. But like the vibe is what the vibe is. So Dean. Oh. You gonna be working for Andy? Um, just mechanical work. Um Oh, oh well that's nice. You know, Redwood not doing so good. Did you gotta get a second job? Oh yeah. No, Redwood's completely fine. You know, it's just I'm I'm a man that really needs to stay busy. It's just kind of in my nature. Oh, oh. She said, oh, I can't sit down no more. <laughs> Barb. It was like, what happened? Um, so how long have y'all been dating? Um, oh, I got to probably get in here. I want interest. <laughs> So how long have y'all been dating? Um, uh -huh, well, we, we just started. What is this? Get your butt over here, and then you guys can kind of talk to. No, we, we we just started talking recently. Oh, that's sweet. Dean, Dean, Dean didn't never he, he well he didn't date nobody. No, it was fun. It was the talk of the town amongst all the ladies at the hair salon in the casino that Dean Redwood. Wasn't seen dating nobody. Nobody was good enough for Dean Redwood. He ain't getting no ladies no chance. And now here we are sitting at the table, double dating with none other than Dean Redwood. Uh. Then you know I wish I had to read like Dean Redwood, but we all can't be like you now, huh? Himbo. Ah. <laughs> and he's like, go ahead, baby, eat your food, eat your steak. Dean is like, <laughs> they talking about me. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Oh. Welcome, welcome in. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Uh huh. And I will be right back. Ooh, Apani's like, they talking about Dean like he's something, but he's just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this date. I think it's going well, but I don't know at the same time. All right, and then I'm going to have y'all just kind of laughing and talking like y'all do while Dean is. Esplima. She said, we need to talk about sex at our age because a child, we really need to have a sit down conversation. He said, well, man, Bob, we at the dinner table. You talk about sex. I am just sick. I'm just sitting there acting like this gonna be all great. I want, I want to get this date over with so I can get back to the house. He said, "We leave right now if you want to leave." Ah, chill, chill. Yes. Dean. He said, "I just want to get it over with because I'm just ready." He said, "You didn't hear that? Let me fill my belly because it's not like I'm gonna be burning some calories tonight." Oh my god. Okay, she's going back to her chair. Where'd she go? Oh, okay. All right, she's feeling confident, very confident. He's all right. Yeah, let me, uh, here, Dean's going to pay for it. He's like, I'm going to go ahead and pay for this. Yeah. Andy, what are you doing? Uh, 
All right, so here, Dean's feeling very flirty. So we're going to, um, here, Barb, since you're already here, Barb wants a drink. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to order a drink for the group so we can get everybody just kind of, you know, loosened up a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and all have rum, rum and coke. She said, hi, can you get me an, um, an order of rum and coke for my friends? Me and my friends, thank you. Barb is sick of it. She said, uh, I hate this. I want to get straight to the point. Rum and coke, please. Oh, thank you, thank you, Barb. She's like, mm hmm, no problem, me. Um, here, let's just talk a little bit. Deep thoughts. She's like, I'm sorry if I didn't make you uncomfortable back at the table. No, Barb, it's fine. You're a woman that tells her how it is. You better know it. And that's why I like her. Mm. Uh -huh. Alright, let's get the rum and coats going. Let's go, let's go. Oh, yo yo. She said you wanna go you wanna go get down on the dance floor? He said, What you mean get down on the dance floor now, Barbie? She said, You and me. And then here yeah, well, I can have her go over there and just kinda dance a little bit. He said, Hey. Now look at you, are you drunk already? She's like, aren't you? He said, I'm sorry the state was not as I expected it to be. It's okay. I'm having a good time either way. They are um, a delight. Oh my goodness. All right, Dean, please don't propose to her or anything where I'm getting the last exception. Am I? Okay, no. He's like staring at her like he wants to kiss her. What are you gonna do? He's, oh. He said, but you really do look nice. <laughs> She said, maybe next time just you and me. I can definitely promise you that. Oh. All right, Dean, your lady friend, she she can't hold a liquor. Um, she's really drunk. We're just kind of having a good time. All right, well, let's continue this. Here's a joint. A, a joint? Whoa. Uh, you, you smoke? Is it, don't you? Uh, no, no, um, no, I don't. Where's the pony going? Oh, she left. No, get back. I should have added her to the group. I mean, uh, to the household. Um, he said, we gonna finish this night off in good spirits. Nothing but good spirits. All right. I enjoy hanging out with you, and I'll go ahead and give you that job. Oh, hang it. Let's have this. We can, this the night is ours, all right? Hey, Bobby, come over here, girl. All right, let's go to the car. Barbie, please. <laughs> I forgot this. She she loves ranch music. Alright, come on, Apani. Everybody is fucking drunk. Apani, please, let's go. Oh, she's not even part of the group anymore. Alright, let me get everybody to sit in the car, but I can't do it unless Apani is here. Alright, I'm gonna text Janelle and let her know I'm gonna be a little, a little late. Coming back to the house. He said, did you eat good, girl? She said, I don't know. I think I'm still hungry for a little something now. I got you. Apani, are you okay? She's like, I am so drunk. Like, well, this is a funny day. I tell you what, this was a very, very funny day. All right, I'm going to get them in the car. Y'all already know how we do this. I'm going to wait for Dean to kind of do what he got to do. To be oh my god. I he get on my nerves. This is why this man didn't be late. He's looking elsewhere. Alright. Alright, let's get in the car and smoke. Like teenagers. Yeah. I can't remember how old, um... Oh, 
All right. Is Tucker here? Why? Oh, I was just asking. Um, yeah, where else is he gonna go? He doesn't have a fucking life. Um, you got like a shirt I can wear or something? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know. You could probably check in the dryer or something like that. Tucker, what are you owing for? Why are you even up, Tucker? Oh my gosh, should Tucker be in his underwear not knowing that Liz is here? Oh my god, his underwear is so goofy though. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Um, <laughs> Tucker, why are you just sitting there like that? <laughs> why are you sitting there like that? Um, <laughs> hey, oh my gosh, um, why are you... Okay, let me change my clothes. I've seen tidy whities before. You don't have to change your clothes. Uh, uh, these are not my normal underwear. Um, um, this is just something that my mom, my mom, not my mom. I mean, I, I went and got my own underwear. Are you okay? You're so funny, Tucker. I'm gonna put some clothes on. Does he have a dresser in here? Oh, he can't get to it because this room is junky. Sorry, my room is. Um, everywhere. Tucker, move. Oh my god, I can't even click any... He's got so much shit on the floor. Oh, excuse me. Um, he is not amused. Here, um, let's put these on. Sorry, I don't know. You didn't have to change your clothes. Oh, well, what are, what are you doing here? Um, I was just hanging out with the kids. He's like, you look really pretty. Um, I don't know what to say to her. Um, here, embrace her. So, so much for Janelle not finding out. She's not going to find out. She's not worried. I think this will be the last thing that she's ever thinking about. She didn't even see me, you know, sneak up in here. Okay. Where's she at? She's like, Liz, can you bring me some chips or something? Huh? Oh, don't y'all dare go in that room. Don't you? What? Are y'all dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? The Sims is like, hey, we want to get caught. All right. I kind of just want her to be a little sleepy. Liz. Liz, I'm gonna go to sleep. I gotta go to Redwood. Um. Tucker, get away from her. What are you talking about? Get away from her. Yeah, look at that. She can't even say good morning or hi. It's just, well, no, I don't want you, you know, touching her. Thank Get away with your little creepy self. God. You know, why Why am I creepy? Because look at you. You're just walking around in a freaking diaper. It wasn't a diaper. It was a diaper. It was disgusting. Um. Hmm. Janelle, why are you doing this? Why are you embarrassing? I'm going to go um, to the bathroom. Oh my gosh. And then Liz, do you have an outfit that you can put on too? Yeah. He's like, you're just embarrassing. Like, I, you know, I thought coming here and living with you guys were going to be nicer than living with my parents. Well, you can go back to your parents if you can, you know, take a fucking joke. How is it? How do I know if it's a joke? Because you laugh. Jokes make you laugh, you know, Janelle. Just, can you just calm down and stop being mean? I'm already having a fucking enough time. Um. You're dealing with life here, okay? I was just kidding with you. Why can't you take a fucking joke? No, because it's it's not that funny when you're embarrassed. I'm not embarrassing you. You are. No, literally, Tucker. By now, you should know I'm just kidding. Well, can you stop? No. Okay. See, this is why you're fucking annoying. Good night, Tucker. No, seriously. 
Let me see if I can get in over here. Oh. Come on, Janelle, because I don't want you sleeping on the couch. Good night, Tucker. Here, I got to sit you here, baby. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting there's a, a thing I have to do. I think you have to sit here first. Okay, there we go. And then you sleep. All right, Liz, I'm going to sleep. Don't let Tucker taint you. She's like, excuse me? Oh. Oh, what is she doing? All right, I'm going to turn off these lights because, like, it's early in the morning anyway. All right, um, Tucker, I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. Torky. I just want to tell you that I really did enjoy that date the other day. And I hope that we can do more of this, but it's going to be a little risky with Janelle. Yeah, she doesn't um seem to care for me around. So that's definitely going to be hard. So you coming over here for a sleepover, what, did you really want to spend time with her? Or are you trying to get to me? What do you what do you think, Tucker? I I don't I don't know what I think. Uh, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have her kiss his, kiss his cheek. Um, actually, I just think I forgot Liz got a lot going on here. She doesn't believe in shaving. Mm. Hello? Let me see. <clears throat> Let me see if she can get over there. Come on, Liz. Damn, Liz is just like grinding up on him. All right, and then you can sleep. <laughs> Banana boat, boys. He's like, my mother shall know about this. <laughs> I'm gonna say he climbed through her window. I'm gonna say he climbed right through her window. I'm gonna have him get in bed with her. Like this house is just very antique. Oh. All right, now everybody is doing their thing. Y'all probably like, what the fuck is Aiden doing? <laughs> uh oh, someone's getting up. Lover's comfort. Yeah, right. He, Tucker said, I'm getting hot, okay? <laughs> Tucker, it's okay. You don't have to cuddle all the time. <laughs> Tucker was like, I was sweating. Like, my arm is static. It's numb. But look, Tucker's got somebody in his bed. That's how he really wanted. Even though he lied about being a cuddler. Hey, hey, Janelle. Janelle. Aha. Uh -huh. Janelle, hey, good morning. Janelle. He's in a row. Hey. Oh, go shot. Can you hear me? Hello. Good morning. Uh -huh. She's at um hello. Janelle, now you're outside. Oh, there it goes. She said, Aiden, how did you get in my house? Oh, that's one way to greet someone. <laughs> Aiden, how did you get in my house? Um, let me. Oh my god, I can never find what I'm looking for. Aiden, well, you said you said I can come over and hang out. Yeah, like when I called you. Um, I was in the neighborhood. Oops. 
So you uh-huh. snuck into my house and got in the bed with me. Uh, is that a problem? It's a little scary, but I'm not going to complain. God, your room smells good. Yeah, that's my new incense. Yeah, it smells nice. What are you doing here? What do you What do you want to do? I just kind of want to hang out with you. Uh, okay. Well, Tucker's probably gonna be mad that you're here, but I mean, honestly, I I can give a shit. Oh, he doesn't really like me. And no one on the res likes, you know, my family. Why is that though? Why why don't they like you like you guys? Like you guys seem really nice. You wanna know a secret? Uh yeah. Rina. They think my grandma's a witch. <laughs> uh what, 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 a, a skinwalker. A skinwalker? Yeah, it's just, you know, stories people make up around the rest. Why would they say that about her? Because she tries to help people. Obisha. Well, nobody Great wants help, oh, I guess. No. You know, a, a couple wrongdoings, and now you're a bad Skiba, person. You what what did she do? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. It's just that they hate us, and they're going to hate my family for generations to come. Well, if it's up, That's uh-huh. kind of sad. Like, you guys just like... <laughs> like, what do you do about that? Nothing. You live your life. Fuck what people think. That's what I do. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Um, let me see, let's, oh my gosh. Let me see, um, I would like to take all her. You're like, no, can I make you some breakfast? Okay, okay, you're getting real comfortable. You are getting real comfortable, Aiden. Here, let's kind of go and chat here. Not they said that her gr- uh, his grandma's a skinwalker. Ooh, I guess we may never know. Get up. Uh-huh. I don't know why she can't move. Uh, oh, he's touching yeah. Mojo. Oh, the cat likes him. Mojo likes you. Mojo doesn't like anybody. Oof. All right, so Janelle, let me see. Do you have that? Because I don't want to hear nobody's mouth. Oh, not to like new aspiration. Let me see, because I don't want anybody bitching. Even though I have that mob that everybody should be able to do it. Um, let's see. I'm going to make you. You guys you guys got eggs? Yeah, my dad eats eggs for everything. Alright. I can make you. Some eggs and toast. Aiden, you really don't have to. I want to. You see that, Mojo? He's cooking for us. Uh-huh. All right. What's he saying? He's saying that you're cute. The cat <laughs> said I was cute. Oh, yeah. Didn't you, Mojo? <sighs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh oh, hold on. Janelle's missing her table. Yibs, yibs. A whole skinwalker. Alright, so um, I don't know if I was supposed to put the bread in the, the, the skillet. Are you making French toast? No, but that was actually a really good idea. I probably should have made French toast. Yumbala. Do you do you need help? No, I don't need help. I'm gonna come over and help you. Um Joint cooking. I don't need help. I don't need. What? Where is Liz? New play. Uh, she's probably in the bed with Tucker. You know. Give him the old guac guac. Okay. Okay. The, calm it down. I'm gonna go look for her. Liz. Liz. I swear. Here, we can just kind of check in the bathroom. Even though I know she's not in the bathroom. Oh my god, she's hungover. What are you hungover for? She 
she's like, oh my god, my fucking head is killing me. But where the fuck? I, she better not be in there with fucking Tucker. Hello. Liz. Hello? Whoa. Yes. What the fuck are you guys in here doing? I have to pee. What are you holding your penis for, Tucker? I, I'm gonna fucking smack you. Um, what are you guys in here doing? We did not do what you think we did. What is going on? Are you guys sleeping together? No, we did not sleep together. Oh, well, you, no, no, you, Tucker, you can never find your own friends. You're so fucking pathetic. Always latching onto somebody else. And Liz, what the fuck are you doing? No, we didn't have sex. We were just like laying in the bed together. What are you guys laying in the bed together for? What is going on? Are you guys literally like doing this behind my back? Really? And with Tucker? God, oh my God. I know you're not smoking. Look at Nike. Nike is always out early in the mornings. You know, they call him Nike for a reason. Baba, like, Jenna, I think you need to calm down. Like I think you need to calm down. And I, like, what the fuck? Why are you talking to Tucker like that? Because what the fuck? Tucker, ever since you came here. No, Janelle, please don't do that. Me and Tucker are not even in Tucker. Why aren't you saying anything? God, he hates you now. No, because ever since Tucker came here, he's just like latching. He's just a fucking waste of space. Why are you doing that to him? Okay, Liz, he's my cousin. I know him better than anybody. Actually, you don't, you know. You judge before you even fucking think. Oh my god, he's about to go use the bathroom. So. Oh my god, whatever. Liz, you just came over here for fucking Tucker. Snurse. Joy the Look how she's looking at him. Oh, oh my god, and her and his room is just dirty as fuck. I'm gonna have her just kind of like yell at him. Uh, in Janelle's eyes, Tucker's just like uh, there. Bula oh. Mubna. Thori. Oh. Like you can't even find your own friends, and now you're okay. sleeping in the bed with my best friend. Like come on, you know? Has it ever occurred to you that we like oh, each other Lord. and we like spending time? You guys don't even talk. How would you know, Janelle? You don't ask anything about me. Hey. Like, get your own friends, oh, Jesus Shuna. Tucker, and put some fucking real draws on. I will be in his office. Oh. Be he's like, oh, well, I'm just gonna take uh, these clothes. I don't know whose clothes he's there, but I'm gonna put no, them in the washing machine. The no, what the they. fuck is what the fuck is Aiden doing here? You're getting on me. Here, um. You're getting on me about being in the bed with your best friend. See, when you put it like that, Janelle, where did you get a vape from? Hey, uh -huh. hey, oh, what's up? What's up? Break you, up. you sleeping with Tucker? I mean, I'm sorry if that was like really upfront, but um, oh, Moochie Peachy. you sleeping with Purple. Tucker? Moochie Peachy. You know, I didn't seem really happy about that. Good I'm just stuff. you know cleaning the house and <laughs> listening as I droba, droba, and droba. Uh, oh, no, we we weren't. Well, I mean, we slept <laughs> in the same bed, but we didn't we didn't have sex or anything. We're just talking. Ooh, man. Oh, okay. And she just like flipped out, and I'm, I'm just, I left them to talk because you know I don't want to get between family. But she's really, she's really mean to Tucker. So what the fuck? Are we not gonna talk about the criminal in the house? What are you talking about, criminal? He's a fucking drug dealer. He makes his own weed, and I know you know it. Everybody on the res know it. Okay, I've seen the weed, but he's not a fucking criminal. And for you to judge him, are you serious, Janelle? You judge me. Like what the hell? Once once Dean finds out that Aiden is in the house, you're gonna be fucking you're gonna be in fucking trouble. And I'm gonna fucking say something too. No the fuck you're not. Yeah the fuck I am. Oops. Please do not tell dad about fucking Aiden being in the house, okay? Seriously. I don't know what the fuck. Everybody thinks his mo grandma's a fucking witch. It's much more than her being a fucking witch. They're fucking evil people. They're scammers.
And you're over here associating with one, and you got him in the house, and you're too busy worried about Liz and me just hanging out. You're just trying to sleep with my friend, Tucker. That's what it is. Jadel, get out. Get out of my room. It's not even your room. You don't even live here. You're a grown-ass man. Okay. I'm going to yell at her, too. For not even saying anything. I'm just going to threaten her. Go fucking move out and get a real fucking job, you loser. Oh my god, Janelle, I wanted you to threaten her. And what the fuck, Liz? You couldn't even tell me. I thought we were fucking best friends. What the hell? Okay, Janelle, first of all, everybody doesn't have to run everything by you. Neeb. Uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> so you just need to chill but that's literally fucked up liz literally fucked up you can't even tell me that you're sleeping with my cousin that's exactly why i didn't tell you oh my gosh my life is over aiden are you still here all right Well, he's like, what's up, Tucker? Please do not speak to me. He's like, nice underwear, Tucker. He's in a row. Uh, should I leave? No, you can stay. Because Tucker's not going to say anything. Oh, All right, um, I'm going to have... I don't even know what to do with them right now. I don't even know what to do with them right now. Actually, they can just go because I don't think Liz... I personally don't think Liz should leave you know what i mean i feel like they should probably just kind of do their own thing well i'm gonna go hang out with okay whatever liz did you see this my best friend is sleeping with my dopey ass cousin well good for him i mean right no it's tucker why are you mad about that seriously why are you knocking his hustle because that's my best friend do you not like think highly of your cousin? Are you are you guys family? I mean, if my cousin, you know, scored a date, I'd be pretty excited for him, you know. No, it's just Tucker. No. Oh, Tucker, get back in the room. Oh my God, let me help him out because they're kind of getting annoying. He's like, why are you so mad? Because if she fucking comes over here to just hang out with Tucker, she's not going to want to hang out with me, and I'm not going to have anybody. And so that's just kind of fucked up. Oh, well, you're not going to be alone. I can be your new best friend. You want to be best friends? Oh, Or you just want to be, you know, friends that occasionally have sex. I mean, it's up to you. Let me know. Can I be your best friend? What is she doing? Oh, she's like, uh-uh, so I'm just irritated with her with him. I mean, you could say no. I don't have to be your best friend. No, it's not even all that. I'm, you know I'm only just joking. Oh. Here, can you put this away from me while she does that? God. Look at you. I think I need to break him up. Leave him alone. God, look how he looks at her. Janelle is pissed at that. She's like, okay. And it's the fact that Liz didn't even like think about what she said which kind of pisses, piss, pisses her off but Liz is like no I like Tucker and I'm gonna be with Tucker if you mad whatever but the best friends really shouldn't do that um I want like an intimate kiss a passionate makeout let's just do that um because they like each other okay so yeah we're gonna do that oh oh my god why did Paris just come up <gasps> what as soon as I get, went in for the passionate, Paris came up. And he wants to be enemies with Paris. Why? <laughs> 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 
What? Now that, my friend, is so scary. Oh my gosh. All right, don't you think I should be heading out before your dad? No, my dad went on a date with his little girlfriend. And I'm pretty sure he's not going to be home for a while. He's so cute. Yeah, we can just sit down. Um, why does he want to? Oh my god, that was crazy. So, what are you gonna do today? What's the plan on this Wednesday afternoon? You were supposed to work. Yeah, I was actually supposed to work, but there's that. Are you not gonna get in trouble for opening, not opening Redwood? It doesn't matter. We don't even have anything anyway. No one's gonna buy anything. Yeah, everybody in town has been saying that Redwood is slacking it's slumping <laughs> yes. they don't even have gum I, we got gum you guys got like that nasty uh cinnamon gum huh you don't like the cinnamon no everybody fucking hates the cinnamon gum please ignore him <laughs> okay so what are you gonna do since you're not gonna go to work well, I was actually thinking, um, I wanted to have a surprise for my family and friends. <laughs> and I wanted to do it like a bonfire, um, tonight, tonight. Like where? Outside. So, I was just gonna get some wood and stuff going. Oh, go to the bathroom. Joy uh, yeah, I, I can help you out with that. Bonfire, you know, bonfires are my thing. Oh, okay. Well, hold on, hold that thought. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. He's like, why is this TV so fucking small? You need to jump in the shower anyway. Um, take a shower. What's this? And she's still sleepy. All right, so I wanted her to have a little bonfire tonight and tell everybody the good news that she got accepted into Brightchester Oasis. Um, I don't know if it's going to change her outfit. Do I have any other outfits? This is be cute to wear. For who? Janelle? No. Janelle, cheerful. What? Janelle isn't sure what what's her romantic future holds but those intimate moments made her into a great kisser i should now know what she's doing so aiden is intimidating tucker that's the vibe i'm getting um which is making tucker try to intimidate him but tucker knows of him and aiden knows that he knows of him i um, mean liz just just kind of like janelle is really being a bitch right now aiden is doing everything he can to impress janelle and smoking where is this coming from oh yep so um yeah mm, all right she's like you know what liz i'm just mad but do i do i have like like should i be mad i mean she's seen my cousin though he's really dopey and i didn't i didn't know I want her being with somebody like that. But he is my cousin. It's better than Bones, dirty, cinnamon head ass. God, I'm fucking cute to him. <laughs> He's like, well, guess we're gonna probably have to hang out at your place. No, I've actually come to a conclusion within myself and my brain, me, myself, and I, and a little bit of uh, Aiden also. Oh, great. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna grant you guys permission to date. What do you mean permission? Like, you know, you can't just, you can't do that. You can't control who anybody dates. Okay, first of all, you're my best friend trying to date my cousin. Okay, but he's grown, we're grown. I'm just saying, it's weird. Janelle, we can just kind of like, kind of, you know, maybe come to an agreement about please don't say anything about me and liz being together like at all in the same room even talking or dating 
And Dean won't know anything about Aiden being here. I promise I won't say anything. I just, we just really need your peace in mind. I don't, I, I got a headache from you. <laughs> Who's calling Aiden? Oh, he's gotta go. He's like, I gotta go take a phone call real quick. And I'll have you video chat him just to talk a little bit. Peace in mind. And Dean won't have to hear about shit. Smirgus. And it's crazy that we even have to make this freaking agreement with you. But it's I like quick. him. Who's it? He's really <gasps> sweet. And he's got really pretty doughy Bar. eyes. Oh my god, I'm oh, gonna throw up. Bon and gravy? <laughs> so is this like happening? I promised, oh, you know. Oh. Please just shut up. Oh. And I'll shut up. <laughs> Um, she's like, damn, I gotta shut up. I think that sounds like a good, uh, a good idea. Mm, I'm trying to, um, tickle. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> I already hate this. I had to take this picture. Look at you, she's like, oh my god, I'm not even, I'm gonna throw up. I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm throwing up from throwing up. Mm. All right, you guys can like kind of make out or something. Um, and you can make your move. Oh, Tucker. I love. <sighs> All right, so now that we got Janelle silenced. It's just you and me. We can get to know each other a little better. I I think I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey you guys, it's Tiny. Thank you for watching episode 13. I appreciate it so much. How do we feel about that double date? It was a little awkward at the beginning, but overall I think it ended pretty well. And Dean got to spend a little time with a Pawnee, even though it wasn't between, you know, them two. Hopefully they'll get it again. But um, I feel so bad for Tucker and Janelle. Like, the whole relationship, they just need to fix it. Because I don't like them fighting all the time. It makes me sad. But I'm so glad that Tucker and Liz are out in the relationship. And they can do whatever they want. Because Janelle has a deal. Next time on Redwood, Janelle has a bonfire to celebrate her acceptance to Brightchester Oasis. And Aiden gets a little real with her, you know? It's about time. And also Bones and Jamel perform um, in the city. So that's going to be really exciting. And it's leaving Liz to have some confusing thoughts. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.